So this is now a graph of a derivative, right? These are slopes, okay? So if you're asked to find out where the function is increasing or decreasing, you want to look for where the slopes are positive or negative. Look right here. Even though the function, uh, even though the graph that we're seeing is going down, the function, the original f, not this one, but the original f is increasing. These are positive slopes. This is like a positive three, so that means the line has a slope of three at that point. This has gone down, but it still has a slope of like one. Right, because the y value here is 1, and the y values in the graph of a derivative are the slopes. So this function is increasing. Let me put some numbers here. Uh, it's increasing from negative infinity to negative 1. From way left over here, because it's going to be positive. All the way up until negative 1, we have positive values. And then I'm going to put a union, and same thing, 1 to positive infinity, because that's where the graph of this function is positive over here. Okay, where is it decreasing? That's everywhere where the graph of the derivative is negative. So it's negative, 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 all the way up to zero. But look, I have to jump over zero because it's neither increasing nor decreasing at exactly zero. The slope is zero. So that's all the places where we're below the x-axis. That's where the derivative is negative. Okay, and then we can use this to help us to help us identify local extrema. Okay. Um, at x equals negative 1, we at least have a local max. And I'll show you why. Because look, we don't know what the original f function looks like. But we know the slopes are positive at like negative x equals negative 2. At x equals negative 1.5. At x equals negative 1.25. The slopes are positive. So that means whatever this graph is, it was increasing. Up until negative 1, the graph was increasing, increasing. And then once we hit negative 1, then the slopes turn negative, so the graphs start decreasing. So where you switch, reading it left to right, when you switch from positive to negative slopes, you've hit a local max. Positive to negative slopes, we hit a local max. We hit a peak of a mountain. Okay? But let's check out x equals 1. Let's see what happened there. The slopes are negative, negative, negative. And now the slopes are getting bigger, but they're still negative slopes, right? So it's still decreasing. So at x equals 1, this thing has been decreasing. It's just decreasing at a slower and slower rate. So it's leveled off there. And now the slopes are positive. So that means the graph is increasing. Okay. So at x, e oh, that's positive 1, sorry. At x equals positive 1, we have a local min, like I just drew. Okay. So whenever you go, reading from left to right, whenever you go from negative slopes to positive slopes, that switching point is a local min. Because you were decreasing, 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 decreasing. These are all negative slopes, right? And then you stop decreasing at 1. You hit the bottom, and now you're increasing. So that's the local min for this graph, and this is the local max.